is Jacob, and we're at Sage Grill in Encinitas. And you can follow us at sagegrill.com, sagegrill backslash Twitter, and sagegrill backslash Facebook. Today, first time you got that right. Thank you. <laughs> Today we're going to taste uh, Elizabeth Spencer wines from Rutherford. Awesome winery, awesome wine, small production. Uh, the name Elizabeth Spencer is basically the name, first two first names of the husband and wife that own the winery. And Elizabeth um, Pressler is uh, the wife, obviously. And Anna. Spencer Graham is the winemaker. And they're married. That's why they're husband and wife. And <laughs> they have different last names, obviously. She kept her maiden name. But unbelievably nice people. Um, really, really know their stuff about making wine. Um, all of their wines are done very classic in style and very true to the varietal. Um, these are some of my favorite wines, and it's about time you actually let me get them on the list. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, what we're going to taste, we're going to taste the Sauvignon Blanc, we're going to taste the Syrah, and the Pinot Noir. So, the Sauvignon Blanc, 100% Sauvignon Blanc? 100% Sauvignon Blanc, 100% stainless steel fermented, and 100% organically grown. That's right. So, it's organic. This particular wine is 100% organic. And this is coming out of Mendocino, but it reminds me of something out of Marble County. It's just very, very clean and crisp, bright apricot. That's um, an awesome. A little grass, a little grapefruit even. Great wine. Great wine. Phenomenal acid to it. Great with any kind of food. The thing I like about this Sauvignon Blanc is I think it's well balanced enough that you could either drink it by itself on an afternoon or with food because of the acid. Um, Sixteen dollars for this bottle of wine on our list. So next we're going to drink let's try the Syrah. I'm not dumping mine out as you can see <laughs> because I like it so much. And one of us actually has to work tonight. <laughs> Isn't it nice when he's awake? Really, really clean finish on this wine. Long lasting flavor to it though. Blackberries, plum, get some cinnamon on the nose. The thing I like about this wine is it, it's true to the varietal but it's not a huge Shiraz. It's not a meal in itself. It's, it's a good, well-balanced wine. It has some dryness to the end, nice long finish, not this huge body overpowering the wine. The best part about these wines, I think, is maybe the price. I mean, for $16, you can get this Sauvignon Blanc, and it's a rock star. And this, I mean, for $20, you won't find a better Syrah for $20. And their Pinot that we're going to try now, we sell for $30. Awesome nose. Very Burgundian in style. It's got some nice earth to it. Some raspberries, some cherry. Great color. Cranberry.